Yeah, when you're ready. Cool, so it's, for today's OSCE we're going to be doing um, EGV cannulation. Um, so if my patient was unconscious, um, obviously if needed, there'll be a quite implied consent, otherwise I'll be asking my patient um, for his consent. Um, I've got all my equipment ready for it, got my IV, my TDM, my gauze, uh, a syringe, and I've got saline, alcohol, swab, lure, and um, my quasi flush as well as my shark container ready. Um, so what I want to do is get the site ready as well. I'm going to be pat, uh, positioning the patient's head slightly to the side. Um, and then to distend the EJV, I'm going to be tamponading in the supraconvicular space. Um, I could also ask if the patient was conscious to bear down or we can raise the legs up. Um, first thing I want to do is make sure I have a sterile site. So I'm going to be cleaning small circular motions, working my way up, leg circles, and just let that dry. Um, I also want to drug check both my saline so I'll get my offsider to read it out to me um, read it back to me what, what it is and the expiry date and then I'll double check it myself so we've got saline 9% 2021 and saline 9% 2020 cool um, so for for this for an EJV um, I want to make sure there's no air emboli or um, risk of plastic so I'm going to create a negative pressure uh, with a syringe on the back of my IV. So first thing I'm going to do is draw off about three mils of saline. Cool. And I just make sure my air bubbles in there. Okay. And then Chops out. Alright, so like I said, I'm going to uh, tamponade at the superconvicular space to get it descended, put a bit of tension with my thumb, and then I'm going to come in a, in a low, a 15 degree to 20 degree angle. Um, obviously, I'll, the patient was conscious, so I'd say there's a sharp scratch coming now. I'm going to go in at the top third of the neck just to not, make sure there's no risk of a pneumothorax. And then I'm going to be watching out for flashback, which I've got. Um, creating negative pressure by aspirating a little bit. Perfect. And then I'm going to lower and advance three more mil. Um, and because of the draw, I'll bend the needle just a little bit. Advance three. And then I'm just going to advance my catheter in. And shuts away. Including the vein. And then I'm going to. A little plug on. Cool. Right, and I'm just going to put one bit of tape down just to secure that in place. And I just want to double check that I am in the vein. So I'm going to flush with a bit of my posi flush, which I've already drug checked. And from there, I'm going to pull back once again, aspirate, make sure I'm still in the vein and slowly going to insert the five mils. Cool, and I'm looking out to see if there's any swelling or anything around there. Clean the site. And then I'm going to secure the IV down with take it in. Um, and that line was pretty patient, patient while I was flushing. Tape down, and then we're going to document the 
time, the date, and the size of the IV, um, which is we for the Oski we use a 20 gauge, but um, in real life we use a 14. Place that down there. Cool, and then we're all ready to give this patient some fluids or some any sort of drugs that we need to. Good. Done.